It is July 1st, 2009. I'm Steve, and over there by my blue van is Steve. We're here uh, testing out our surveillance and monitoring equipment for our Bigfoot expeditions uh, that we plan on doing all summer. Uh, we are just north of Mount Rainier near Huckleberry Creek at a, a campsite we've been to before. And we are just off this forest road. And down over here, you can't see it, but Huckleberry Creek runs uh, right to left uh, through this area. And this is an area where the creek area where I've discovered a couple of footprints that uh, I took photographs of that are questionable. Uh, humanoid, human, five-toed footprints. So we're coming back to this area. What we're doing is testing out some of the surveillance equipment that we have. And we have uh, lots of different systems uh, for recording a video. And also we have some perimeter uh, alarm systems. Basically what our, our theory is, you don't go out and find Bigfoot. You'd be wasting your time. Uh, walking around looking is uh, not really the way to go in our opinion. What we plan on doing is hopefully drawing Bigfoot to us. And uh, we're quite sure that since it's pr predominantly nocturnal that we will have a nighttime visit if we are lucky. So we have uh, multiple video camera systems which I'll go into later. But our main objective is to know when it comes into our camp. Now I'll walk up to the camp and we have a system, it's called the MERS uh, Detection System, M-U-R-S, and I don't remember what that stands for. Uh, we have three perimeter MERS detectors right now. Uh, we may get a fourth. And what we plan to do is surround the camp with these sensors. Over here will be one of the sensors we have temporarily set up just to test. It is a wireless system, battery powered. We have it on a 4x4 post, bungee corded uh, to the tree for now. And when we go live on a uh, real expedition, we're going to have this camouflage much better. And what happens is the little circular sensor in the front, uh, it's designed to be a surveillance system or a monitoring system for like a driveway. Any motion through that, basically the beam in front, will send a radio frequency signal to uh, handheld receivers. We have two of those. And this one is set as uh, zone one. So when that perimeter is breached, we get a, a radio frequency signal to our handheld receivers at camp that says uh, that zone one has been uh, breached. And knowing that, then we'll know where to uh, point our cameras and everything at night. We have um, some of our camera systems set up right now. We'll have more later. On the tripod here is one of the systems, camera systems, that uh, has infrared bulbs uh, around the uh, outside of the lens. And infrared basically is invisible light, invisible to humans, and hopefully invisible to uh, hominids or animals as well. Uh, so you can't see projected light with the naked eye, but you can see it on video or on a TV monitor. So what we're hoping to get is the camp partially illuminated at night so we can record anything that happens in camp. Uh, that's my blue conversion van. That's my 79 Chevy G20 conversion van, or I like to call the command center. And there's Steve's 77 Jeep. It's got a 401 engine in it. It's a monster. And we're basically set up with a canopy, testing out some our gear. And we're going to set up some different camera systems later. We have a uh, three camera system that's activated and starts recording with motion. And we'll get that set up later and get that on film. I just wanted to give a quick introduction to the camp where we're set up. 